Hello everybody, welcome back to the Madden 12 Denver Broncos franchise. This is the last regular season game of season 3, and it is against the Cleveland Browns. We are currently 13-2, and two. they are 9-6, and six. they're still led by Colt McCoy, who has 2,885 yards, 17 touchdowns, and 12 interceptions. Uh, they're having a pretty alright season. If they win, they're guaranteed playoffs, but if they lose, it will be a three-way tie between them, the Ravens, and the Steelers. So this is a really big game for them, as Peyton Hillis runs there and picks up the first down. It's going to be second down and ten now. I did kind of go through this game pretty fast, because for us, this game is kind of meaningless, because we're 13-2, and two, so even if we do lose this game, we're still guaranteed the one seed in the AFC, as there is a big connection it's uh, Carlson on the play. Big play there for the Browns. But yeah, for us, it's kind of a meaningless game. So we're benching a lot of our starters like Von Miller, Champ Bailey. You know, a lot of those guys aren't going to be seeing a whole lot of time, although they will see the field a little bit just because of how the depth chart works in Madden. But uh, yeah, we're trying to keep our guys healthy going into the playoffs. And as I say that, Jason Hunter gets hurt but he should be only out for this game. Second down and two, down goes Colt McCoy. He wasn't even able to get the handoff there. So now it's third down and six. McCoy, he's stepping back, looking to throw, and he has his receiver across the middle. Second down and goal, now they're gonna give it to Crawford, and he goes into the end zone for a Cleveland Browns touchdown. They take a quick 7-0 lead. Out comes Vince Young in his last start, most likely, for the Broncos this season, at least. Because Tim Tebow should be back for our playoff game. That one goes right to the defender. Should have been intercepted. So, since it was third down, we're going to end up punting. It's third down and six now. He's throwing this one to the left side to Little. Was he able to stay in bounds there? No, he was not. No, we have the ball. First down and 10. No Sean Marino. And the reason we're playing him today, even though he's one of our best players, uh, is he's really close to 2,000 yards right now. And he's, I believe, about second on the MVP race, only behind Peyton Manning. So if we could get him an MVP, that'd be pretty great. Or at least 2,000 yards. That'd be, that'd be pretty good. J.J. Woodson makes his presence felt there on that 15-yard reception. Second down and long, Quan Sherman picks up 10 yards there. Third down and three, Vince Young. He's looking to throw, now he's gonna run. Picks up the first down, fumbles the football. Luckily we recover. So now we have the ball again, Young. He's looking to run and make sure he slides there. Picks up eight on third down and two. Young throwing this one and it goes right through the hands of J.J. Woodson. So we're gonna be on Matt Prater for the field goal. The kick is up and it is good. Browns have the ball now. It's third down and eight. It's a play action. McCoy throwing and they convert. Second down and ten. Colt McCoy, he's looking to run. He's gonna take off. This is gonna be a big game for him, but it's all coming back because of the penalty. Holding on the offense. So second down and 20. McCoy throwing this one to the left side. He has Carlson there. That will pick up a good chunk there, about 13. So it's going to be third and seven. He's throwing yet again, and he has Massaqua on the reception. That will move the chains for the Browns. They're at the 48 now. Peyton Hill is the cover boy, loses two there. Second down and 12. Colt McCoy, he has Massaqua on the reception, and another Browns first down. Now they're faced with third down and 10. McCoy's throwing and incomplete. So they bring out their kicker. Kick is up. And it is good. So they have a seven point lead now. First down and 10. Down goes Vince Young, gets sacked for a one yard loss. No Sean Marino, he's gonna run this one. Picks up a solid gain of about five. So now it's third down and six. Vince Young, rolling to his left. He has a first down and he slides. Four rushes for 20 yards on the day for him. Now no Sean Marino up the middle on third down and 12 and we'll be four yards short. So why not go for it here? We don't have a whole lot to lose except for the game, and he gets sacked. So now the Browns have a really good field position to start off this drive. Colt McCoy's gonna run, fumbles the football, and Arrington there picks it up for the Broncos. We turn it over on downs, but then the Browns give it right back to us. Second down and six. 
down goes Vince Young. That's going to make it third down and 18. Can we convert? Nope, we're going to get sacked again. It's fourth and 24. The Browns are going to try to put together a little two-minute drill here. Going across the middle. He has Carlson, and they're in Broncos territory already. First down and 10. Colt McCoy. He has time, and time runs out. That's Ayers on the sack. Second down and 17, they're back at midfield. Throwing this one to Steve Smith there, the former Carolina Panther. But it's coming back because of a penalty. Third and 27 now. Peyton Hillis, he's going to run it, but he's going to be well short of the first down. That will bring us to halftime. We are currently down 10-3. to We get the ball to start off the second half. Vince Young rolling to his left. He was trying to throw that one, but instead he gets sacked. Second down and 22. Throwing this one and incomplete. So now it's third down and very, very long. Young, he has time throwing this one to the left side for Manning, but it's incomplete. So now Browns, they have the ball, really good field position, but it's third down. Gets it to Vickers, but he only picks up one yard. So they're going to bring out their kicker. This one is up and it is too far to the right. So now we have the ball around midfield. Young, he's rolling to his left. He's going to try to run, and he picks up the first down on third down with that run. Second down and nine. Play action. Taking a shot deep for Julius Thomas. He's inside the 10-yard line. Vince Young, he's not having a very good day. Most of his yards have come on that one pass right there. But here's another pass. This one goes to the end zone. Touchdown, Eric Decker. And the Denver Broncos have tied this game up at 10 apiece. Peyton Hillis, he's breaking off tackles. Going down the middle there, breaking more tackles off, and he's down to the 39-yard line. First and 10, Massaqua, he's throwing this one. He was in the Wildcat. That one's going to fall incomplete. Second down, Colt McCoy throwing this one to the right side, trying to test Champ Bailey, and incomplete, intended for little. Third down and 10, McCoy throwing, and this one gets knocked down by the linebacker. So they're going to come out and attempt another field goal, and this time it's too far to the left. Broncos have the ball, really good field position now to start off, and that one is incomplete. Third down and eight for Vince Young. What can he do here? He's throwing this one, and it's intercepted. That was just a really bad overthrow there, intended for Eric Decker. That one just sailed on him and right to the defender. Now the Browns have the ball at midfield. Field. They're going to run this one with Hillis. He picks up five. Second down and five. It's play action. McCoy trying to run now. And he has the first down and a lot more. Hits this one down to the 29. First and 10. McCoy. He's going to run yet again. This time going to the left. And he's down at about the 10 yard line. Make it the 11. Second down and 10. Peyton Hillis running, breaking tackles. And it's now going to be third and three from the four. McCoy, he's just going to run this one right into the end zone. Touchdown, Cleveland Browns. They take a seven-point lead. Second down and six. Vince Young, he's going to run, picks up the first down and slides. First and ten now. Young, he's going to run to his left. He's going to run this one yet again, picks up seven yards there. It's going to be third down and three. We're going to give it to Noshan Marino, and he gets denied. Fourth and three. Let's go for it. Why not? And a bit too quick there, taking off with Vince Young. The Browns have really good field position to start off this drive. But down goes Colt McCoy. Ayers on the sack again. That makes it third down and 15. They're going to run it, pick up nothing. So that was a huge sack there that got him out of field goal range. Now Broncos have the ball trying to tie it up. Vince Young running, picks up the first down. First and 10, Vince Young rolling to his left. Throwing this one. He has Chad Ochocinco. He's able to stay in bounds, I believe. Nice little run down the sideline there. And yes, he was able to stay in bounds there, make the catch. Big play there. Third down and 17 going across the middle for J.J. Woodson. And he has the first down on third and very long. Second down and 10 turns into third and 17 because of that sack there. Going across the middle though, we have Manning. He gets us down to the one yard line. Try to punch it in with Sherman, but we cannot. We actually lose a yard. So now we're gonna give it to Spencer Larson, the fullback. And he is in the end zone for the touchdown. This game is tied at 17 each with three and a half minutes to play. Colt McCoy is gonna run this one. Another big game for the Browns quarterback. First and 15 now after a penalty. Peyton Hillis, he's going to run this one. 
And he picks up most of that, so it's second down and two. Nope, first and ten. Peyton Hillis running this one. He has the first down. First and ten, yet again. Peyton Hillis, yet again, going to the left side. He is gone. Touchdown, Cleveland Browns. One of the best running backs in the game. That's his 50th career touchdown. He also owns the record now for most rushing yards in a game. He did it earlier this season against the Patriots with 313. Fourth down and 10. And that one is just wildly off the mark for Vince Young. So now the Browns are going to kick a field goal here. We're out of timeouts and down by 10. But we're not out of it quite yet. If we can get like some kind of Hail Mary touchdown and then onside kick and then kick a field goal. And then maybe we can go into overtime. Maybe, possibly. First down and 20 after that penalty. That one gets knocked down at the line. It's second down and 20. Just taking a shot deep here. And he overthrows Woodson. So now it's going to be third down and 20. He almost has J.J. Woodson there, but he doesn't. Fourth and 20, game on the line, and just another atrocious overthrow by Vince Young intended for J.J. Woodson. And that will end this game. The Browns, the stakes were high, and they were able to win this game and win the AFC North. Player of the game is Michael Bloy there. He had a sack and an interception. And we walk out of Cleveland losing 27-17. Vince Young had probably his worst day of the season. 6 of 25, 139 yards, 24% completion percentage, a touchdown, and an interception. Running the ball, Peyton Hillis had a really good day. No Sean Marino wasn't great but still enough to get 2,000 yards. Colt McCoy kept killing us with his legs on the ground there. All their touchdowns came on the ground today and then of course Larson with his one rushing touchdown. Receiving wise no one really stood out. JJ Woodson only had two catches for 34 yards. Uh, Eric Decker's single catch for 10 yards and went for a touchdown. Looking at the defense, Arrington he led us with tackles. Nate Irving was right behind him. Ayers he had two tackles for loss. He also had two sacks on the day, uh, so did Sean Merriman, he had himself one sack, and then of course Bully's pick right there. So that will do it for this video, thank you all for watching, this has been Jeffrey, goodbye.